What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6pm on Wednesday and the brand new team of the week is here and that is it. Oh, ooh, oh wow. Oh yes. Oh yes, there's some good players here. 86 Foden. That's a left wing, but his 84 was already very good. And that's a nice, uh, a nice card there. 89 Luis Suarez. He was already a bit beasting as well, if a bit slow. 84 David. Still got that five-star weak foot. 94 Stam. His jumping and heading is incredible. His dribbling is very good. His short passing is good. His shooting's getting there and his pace is very good. That's a very good card. Uh, we've got Tushimeni. Very well-rounded card, to be fair, for an 82. Holy moly. Who's the star guy this week? Oh, it is David. Oh, they gave him the, the double boost. Let's go. We've got Andres Iniesta in there. Just too slow. Locatelli. So the one to watch Locatelli is going up. Happy days. Very nice indeed. Hyung Min Son, 90 rated. Whew. Four star, five star. That's a quality card. We've got Lionheart. Romani. Azpiliwili. Just way too slow for that right-hand side. Uh, trapping goal. Is that his second in form already? Uh, Lafont. I think that might be a good card now, right? Six foot five. Yeah, that's all right, that is. Uh, Wendell. That's a... Wow, he's moved to Porto. And he's got his in form. That's a good card. That's a good card. Uh, Tonali with his first in form. One to watch Tonali last year. No in forms. No one to watch Tonali this year. Straight away gets an in form. <laughs> You've got to love it, haven't you? That's a quality card. Really nice as well. Danjuma. Fajnat. And then Anderson Talisca. So if you guys did uh, Talisca one to watch, four star, four star, high low, six foot three. That's a nice big boost. That is a nice boost for him. And Bolo in there as well. Bit of a weak card. Piatti, Evans, Kara, White. Good pace and physical. And Cisse. Great pace. Really good physicals as well for a, for a silver. Good agility and balance too. Shooting's all right. Um, so decent team of the week there, guys. Decent team of the week. Some really nice players in there. Let's have a look in the objectives. Silver Stars and Silver Beast are back. Suleimana, 94 pace, 83 dribbling, 71 physical, 75 shooting, 70 passing. They've, they've been really... They've gone out of their way to make this special, guys. Win three, score eight, assist six again. Uh, but the Silver Lounge is back, guys. Um, which is very good. The Silver Stars are back, which is genuinely very good. That was a cool, cool part of the game last year. Silver Beast is back. It's exactly the same as before as well. Um, for a rare mega pack, which I got to be honest, that's nice. Especially if it's a minimum guarantee, that would be very, very nice. And outside of that, there's nothing else in objectives, and there is nothing in milestone. So Silver Stars is is a nice little addition. As for SBCs. Anderson Talisco is still an SBC there. Lukaku to Blues daily SBC. Um, 60 rated, 85 chemistry, 6 rares, 3 golds, same country or region, minimum 7, England players minimum 1. Which means your English rares, especially BPM stuff, are about to go crazy. Um, which is pretty cool. And that's that's it for SBCs. That is it for SBCs today. Fair enough. Um, which leaves the store and then us going and have a look. I thought we'd get a little bit more. We've got some more promo packs. We've got another five premium electrums and ten jumbo premium golds. We'll open some of these. We'll open the, the premium electrum packs, I think. Combine silver beast and silver squad milestone. Yeah, 100%. You could do silver beast and uh, the silver milestones together. You could do silver stars and the silver milestones together. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and I think, I hope this year, EA just do a little bit more with it, you know? Like last year, it was like, it looked good at the start and it was a like, call. Cool, they're giving us these cool silver players with big boosts. And then after like week three or week four, you're like, okay, this is all this is. And it's it, it kind of lost its worth a little bit because the silver players were good, but never quite good enough to be in your gold teams. Um until maybe the very, very, very end, uh, there was a few that were like absolutely mental. Um, 
And so, yeah, I think... I think hopefully this year they do something a bit different with it towards, you know, as the season, as the campaign goes on. If, if you guys invested in meta silvers, silvers with high pace, silvers with great stats, five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, that kind of thing, you're going to be sitting there banking right now. It's going to be really, really, uh, really, really good for you. The good thing is we did get Locatelli ones to watch upgrade and Talisca ones to watch upgrade, um, which is really, really surprising from EA's perspective because last year... They seem to go out of their way to not give upgrades to ones to watch cards. And yet this year, we've already got ourselves uh, two ones to watches right here, right now. We'll go and have a look at uh, uh, some of the players now. We're going to have a look at the new uh, the new silver player and the Talisca upgrade and the Locatelli upgrade. <laughs> um, current team of the week. We'll have a look at Foden. Compared to his 84, let's get Locatelli in there, Talisker in there, Son in there, Suarez and... Did I get Foden? I did. Uh, who else was interesting to me? Tonali is an interesting one. And David is the star man. The five-star weak foot and the insane stamina on this card is very interesting. I know, I know it got memed so quickly last year, but a maestro is the one. Passing, long and short, very good. Vision, good. Long shots and shot power, good. Finishing and positioning, good. Pace, very good. Gives him 10 reactions, 10 dribbling with great physicals, 5-star weak foot. That is a very, very good card that is probably going to be relatively cheap. Um, compared to his base card, because obviously he got the Starman award or so to speak. So he went from a 78 to an 84. They gave him 9 stamina, 6 across the board in dribbling, 20 heading accuracy... Seven passing, six shooting, four pace. So they upgraded him quite nicely in a few different areas. We've got Foden's upgrade. He got two across the board in pace and dribbling and passing. Three in physical, four stam. Very nice again. And again, I do like the upgrades. It, it seems like EA are paying attention to what's actually important. So Locatelli's been given threes across the board, kind of. Um, two in physical, two in defending, three in shooting, three in passing, three in pace. And two in dribbling. Now, we, we've been using this Locatelli in draft. And even though he's slow, he's actually quite good. Um, I mean, he is slow, right? So a shadow would probably be my go-to. Potentially an anchor. But his passing is real nice now. His dribbling is relatively decent. He's got four-star weak foot, which is real cool. Um, and, you know, here's to more upgrades for him. So that his ones to watch can keep going and going. Uh, we've got Hyung Min Son next. So he's been given... One pace, one shooting, two passing, two physical but three stamina, one defending, one dribbling. And I think that stamina boost is just the difference, isn't it? Probably go with an engine on Son. His shooting's already very, very good. Give him that pace, give him that nice dribbling agility and balance, that nice dribbling boost, good passing boost. And I think that makes him a super cam again with the four star, five star. We've got Luis Suarez, who's been given two physicals, one defending, one shooting, two passing. One pace, one dribbling. They could have given him a little bit more than two pace, couldn't they? Or one pace. They could have given him like three pace or something. Why on earth not? But I also think Suarez, again, is, is good for a cam rather than a striker. Might be tempted to go marks one. Insane shooting, insane dribbling. A little lower agility and balance. Very good passing. But even though he is a bit slow, I've been, I've been rocking Harry Kane. And Harry Kane's been doing beasting for me. Tonali's been given a massive upgrade. Six defending, five passing, four pace, four dribbling, and four physicals. Now, this is more like it. That is a very good card. Really nice short and long passing. Well-rounded dribbling for a DM with a four-star weak foot. Very good pace, good defending, uh, and very good physicals. That Tonali is, again, really, really nice. And then last but not least, before we get to the Silver Stars, is Anderson Talisca. So he's been given... Two pace, two dribbling, two shooting, two defending, three physicals, three passing. Now, I, what I like about Talisca is he's four-star, four-star. He's got finesse shot trait, right? Outside the foot shot trait and finesse shot trait. He's big. He's got already good long shots and shot power. The maestro on him, depending on how you play, but for me, the maestro on him, 96 shot power, 99 long shots, brilliant passing, brilliant free kicks, Reasonable pace, great reactions, great dribbling, good agility, good stamina. This is a quality, quality card. EA making Team of the Week kind of fun again. Yeah, 
yeah, they, it does seem like they make putting in good players, giving good boosts, picking one to watch cards. Like it does seem like they are just. But they seem to be getting a lot right this year. I can't lie. I'm enjoying the game thoroughly. I really am. Um, and then we've got Suleimana, the Silver Stars. So he's four star, four star. Was he already? He was already. And they've boosted Suleimana by one pace, eight dribbling or seven dribbling, seven defending, eight physicals, 10 passing, nine shooting. Now, for your Silver Stars player, this is a brilliant card, right? Straight off the bat, this guy's going to do you well, right? Great pace, 97 agility and balance, 80 stamina, reasonable shooting, reasonable passing for a Silver with a 4-star, four 4-star. Four Personally, I'd probably go for a Deadeye. Gets his finishing positioning very, very good. His shot power very good. His short passing and vision very good. You might want to give him something to boost those reactions up a little bit. So maybe the Maestro. Um... And with that pace and stuff, yeah, that's a good card. Maybe even a Hawk for the pace and, and shooting again. I'd personally be looking at either Deadeye or Maestro. But for a first Silver Stars, that is very, very nice. That is very, very nice. Um, and that that is all there is for today. A brand new team of the week. Um, the Lukaku to Blues, which is reasonable. Right? right, for a rare gold pack, you're paying 4K, 5K. So in terms of the, uh, the pack back you you know you're getting it at a massively discounted price so that's not too bad um and then other than that you've got the rare mega pack in the silver beast and that is it for today if you did enjoy it be sure to like rating comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and for now guys i'm out peace